Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Country Streak. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys two of my streak attempts that I did off-camera, and I recorded them with no commentary. So, I'm going to play back the videos and sort of walk through my thought process for my guesses. Some of these guesses I did make pretty fast, since I'm trying to improve my country recognition ability, so I'll try my best to explain every round. The first video I'm going to show you guys is one that's more recent, uh, and then I'm going to play a somewhat older streak. But both of these attempts are relatively good for my standards, at least, so I'm going to play this back and see how I do. So for the first location here, uh, it seemed like we had low camera coverage, uh, plus the European architecture equals Switzerland. Uh, second round here uh, looked a lot like Mexico based on the road markings, landscape, and Google car. Round number three seemed to be the Netherlands, again with the road markings very flat, plus the wind turbines. Round number four, we had a concrete road here, and this reminded me a lot of a location I'd seen in Bolivia, so I went for it. And round number five here, we had some interesting bollards. Uh, landscape and poles and everything indicated that we were in a Baltic state, uh, and based on everything I'd seen, I sort of assumed it was going to be Latvia. I wasn't too confident, uh, but as you can see there, it did end up being Latvia. Moving into the second game here, our sixth location put us in Tunisia, I believe. Uh, you can tell with the green follow car and just sort of the general landscape as well. Round six, or seven actually, was very interesting. Gen 4 coverage on a very dusty red road. Uh, sun in the north and lots of uh, trees all around us. I was thinking Brazil here, but I wasn't too sure. Uh, I just sort of went for it, hoping it was there, and it was indeed Brazil. Round number eight, we had another concrete road, plus the Google car equals the Philippines. Moving into round number nine... Uh, this time was Gen 2 coverage. Uh, the sign there plus the landscape look quite like New Zealand, so I went for it. And the 10th round here, we had more Gen 2 coverage. Uh, those bollards seemed to be of the Australian variety, uh, so I went for Australia. And it ended up being on Tasmania, but still, pretty good. Uh, that's 10 countries down. Moving on to the uh, third seed here. Uh, this time we had the car that indicated either Colombia, Ecuador, Mexico, or Brazil. Uh, but combined with the sort of uh, cross on the back of that sign there, plus the yellow bridge, I was pretty confident going Colombia. Round number 12 was easy. We had Kenya Google car. Round 13 was interesting. We had a sort of concrete road, uh, plus a blue roof, so I sort of assumed it was going to be Thailand. You see those roofs a lot in Thailand. Round number 14, we had a very interesting landscape. Google car sort of indicated Chile. Uh, but this was an incredible landscape, really beautiful with the purple flowers and the mountains. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure on Chile, but I figured it couldn't really be anywhere else. And moving into the 15th round, uh, this appeared to be uh, the U.S., I think. I believe I did just go for it after a while. The pass with care sign that I briefly showed seemed pretty American, uh, so I did go for it. And it was in Michigan, and that was the 15th country. Okay. Moving into the fourth game here. Uh, here, this seemed, I think this was Belgium, based on the red license plates, yeah. Architecture plus red text equals Belgium. Round 17, another city. Uh, language seemed to be Turkish, so I went for it. I tried to go for Istanbul, just in case it was there, and it was not there. <laughs> uh, round number 18, I was a little bit confused at first, um, but eventually I pieced it together based on the right white road markings and the Google car, plus the sun in the north, that we almost certainly had to be uh, in the country of Chile. So as you can see, I was sort of just working through this, all the clues we had available, trying to narrow it down. But I did eventually figure it out. And that was 18. Round 19 was Locam Japan, I believe. I just wanted to make sure, because in this kind of location it can be a little bit tricky, but it was definitely Japan. And round number 20, uh, we had a long antenna plus yellow plates, and Hebrew is equal to Israel, of course. And that rounds out the 20th country. So we're four games in, moving into the fifth game here. Uh, here we had Brazil, uh, we had Portuguese on the side there, plus a very red soil. Round 22, we had Sun in the South, plus uh, sort of architecture and uh, electricity poles that reminded me of Mexico. Uh, I thought we were going to be on the Yucatan Peninsula, which is where I went for, uh, but as you're about to see, it was not actually there, pretty far away, but we got the country. Round 23 had Gen 4 coverage, plus some Canadian road signs of Ontario, to be more specific. 
round 24. Uh, we had a bunch of yellow plates, uh, plus a very flat landscape, as well as language on some of the trucks that seemed very Dutch, so it almost certainly was going to be the Netherlands. And moving into round 25, uh, this was actually a repeat for me. I had seen this one a while back, and I generally remembered it was in the very far western parts of Borneo, Malaysia. And so I got a pretty good score there for that. And that's 25 countries done. Moving into the sixth seed. Uh, this time we started out next to a truck that seemed very Turkish. Road and everything else seemed quite Turkish, and that blue sign sealed the deal for Turkey. Round 27, this time we had Gen 2 coverage, plus very Australian road markings and signs. Round 28, uh, we had a long antenna, plus Cyrillic. The car was not red, though, so it was going to most likely be Russia. And round 29, this time was a little bit tricky for me. I thought the streak might die here, because identifying Baltic states is one of my worst uh, qualities for country streaks. I was not too sure here, but based on the sort of antenna we had, I assumed it was going to be Lithuania. I had seen a longer one there before. I went for it, hoping for the best, and it was actually there, thankfully. And round 30, this time we had some yellow plates plus white front plates on the cars. Uh, I was kind of confused about this because I thought that those two cars there were driving and that, that one guy was just m crazy tailgating the other. Uh, but it turns out they were just parked on the side of the road. Um, I thought this was the UK for the longest time, and it actually was. But that car, those cars being there made me think that this wasn't there. Uh, but eventually I just gave in thinking, what the hell else is this really going to be? And it was indeed the United Kingdom. That is country number 30. Moving into the seventh game. Uh, this time, oh, this was the most confusing round I think I've had in a long time. Uh, Might have just been for me personally, but I was very confused. Uh, we had language there that reminded me of Indonesian, Malaysian, kind of. Uh, road markings were strange. Sun was in the north. It was just really the foliage and everything here just seemed so counterintuitive to be Indonesia. If it was going to be there, it would definitely have to be pretty high up on some sort of mountain with higher elevation to get this kind of foliage. Uh, it was just so shocking to me. Uh, we also had the black car, but I was very taken aback by this location. I spent a while just sort of analyzing all the little things I could, trying to make sure that this would actually be Indonesia. Um... So yeah, that, that was basically my thought process was, I can't screw the streak up now. We got a pretty good streak going, so it would be a disaster to mess it up. Uh, I was very concerned. But you can see, I just sort of <laughs> kept spinning around here, waiting and waiting, trying to figure out what the hell I was looking at. Um, I kept going back to this sign because it was the one definitive clue on language. Um, I was thinking, could this really be Peru with the black car as well? But the language did not fit at all. So eventually I just gave in and figured it's probably just going to be Indonesia. Um, and as you're about to see, I believe my guess was actually not too far away, just by pure luck. Uh, but it was high up there on Mount Lawu. And round number 32, this was very much so Australia. Uh, Gen 4, red soil, desert. Round 33, uh, here was a little bit tough if we didn't have that sign confirming that the language is Finnish. So moving into round number 34 here. Uh, we were placed in a Gen 2 forest, which was very interesting to me. We had a little green sign down there, which I could not read. Uh, now, I tried to analyze the trees here. They reminded me a lot of Australian trees, uh, but I was a little bit concerned that they weren't. They seemed a little bit off, uh, but I did end up just going for Australia in the end, I believe. But yeah, I just tried to take my time here again, because this was a less definitive one for me. And it was on very far south Tasmania. Round 35 here, we had a black car, uh, in addition to Spanish, which means either Argentina or Uruguay with this landscape as well. Uh, license plates seem to check out with the Argentinian variety. You can see the sort of black dot in the center of them. Uh, and so I was confident going for Argentina. And that was 35 countries done. Moving into the, what is this, eighth seed now? Uh, here we had a bunch of script which seemed pretty Cambodian. We also had an advertisement for Cambodia beer, which of course <laughs> means we're in Cambodia. Round 37 brought us to Israel. I believe we had yellow plates, uh, long antenna, and general landscape as well. Uh, put us in Israel. And round 38 here, uh, we had another long antenna. Uh, I actually don't remember 
where this was. I think I did just go for Sweden with the buildings. Yeah, there it is. And around 39. Uh, this one I'm very disappointed in myself for. I think I kind of rushed through it. Um, and did not consider all of the options that were available for this round. Um, I think I knew that the bollards reminded me of Latvian bollards, which I'd seen earlier. But again, the Baltic region and also uh, weird Finland like this is always very difficult for me. So the streak died there after getting 38 countries in a row correct. Um, had I just taken a little more time to think over the options for that location, maybe Finland would have come to mind. In any case, the streak died there, so let's go ahead and move over to the slightly older streak attempt that I had from a couple weeks ago. So getting started with the first round here, we had low cam Japan, which is always pretty easy to tell for me. Uh, round number two, we were in Canada. We had Alberta bollards, which were visible. Round number three, uh, I don't remember this one. This attempt was recorded a while ago, so I'm not super familiar with everything. Um, but I think, did I go for Spain here? I don't remember. Might have gone Italy, actually, with those signs. Yeah, I believe I did go for Italy. We'll find out. And yeah, Italy. Okay, so that was the third country. Round number four. Driving on the right, we had some bollards there and road signs, which all seemed pretty Turkish, and that sign confirmed it for us. And moving into round number five, uh, this time we had some Italian, as well as general architecture, which made me pretty confident to guess there. And that rounded out our first five countries. So moving into round number six here, uh, this time we again had low camera Japan, which is always an easy tell for me. Round number seven. Uh, here was pretty interesting architecture and landscape, putting us in Mexico. Round eight, we had Ghana tape on the car, which is one of the most famous and well-known metas in the GeoGuessr community. Round number nine, here we're driving on the right. We had uh, some Spanish, I believe. Uh, I don't actually remember what this was. Actually, no. Was this Brazil? It was Brazil. Okay. Well, I stand corrected. Um, and round number 10, once again, we had low cam Japan. Uh, but it actually wasn't. It was Taiwan. Uh, I thought it was low cam Japan at first because I was rushing a little bit, but luckily I caught myself and switched to Taiwan. Round number 11 was a very Brazilian landscape. Uh, round number 12, we this time again had low, low camera Japan. Round 13, once again, I believe this was a Brazilian landscape. Uh, language on the sign confirmed that. Round 14, uh, this one I think was Turkey. I pieced that together based on the landscape and the bollards we had visible. Uh, the sort of turnaround thing in the middle of the highway there also reminded me of Turkey. Uh, so just with the few clues we had, I pieced that together and went for Turkey. And that was country number 14, really close to Syria there. Uh, round 15, we had Taiwanese electricity poles, those uh, yellow and black stripes that go all the way to the bottom of the pole. And that's 15 countries done for this attempt. Round number 16, we had dashed lines, plus a white street sign and a long antenna, puts us in Sweden. Round number 17 here, uh, we had some Spanish on those buildings. Uh, we had a Pepsi logo on the wall there. And I was trying to see if there was anything to confirm this 100%, since uh, Latin American rounds can be kind of tricky sometimes, without um, without explicit clues. But I actually don't remember where I went for. We'll find out together. <laughs> I was checking all the plates to see what they looked like. Uh, and eventually, yeah, I went for Mexico. That makes sense. And that's number 17. Round number 18 here, uh, we had what appeared to be... Um, Arabic on the signs and graffiti, plus the black car uh, puts us in Jordan. I just wanted to make sure there. And there we go. That is country 18. Round 19, we had a concrete road, plus a black car. Uh, looked very much so like the southern Andes, but black car means it's going to be Argentina and not Chile. It took me a little bit of time to come to that conclusion, but I did indeed go for Argentina. Not exactly in the right part of the mountains there, but it was still the right country. And there it is. Moving into round number 20 here. We were driving on the right. And we had... We have Mexican bollards? I don't remember. I think I did just go for Mexico. Or did I? 
Once again, we're going to find out together. <laughs> and yeah, I did go from Mexico. Okay. And that is round number 20. Moving into round number 21, the fifth seed for this streak attempt. Uh, we had a beautiful sort of hazy sunset over the farmland here. Street signs were very American. And then we had an American highway shield. So I just kind of clicked in the middle there. And it was the U.S. Round number 22. We had a black car with a long antenna, plus the language and mountains there. It reminded me a lot of Taiwan, so it was there. And a very far north island, actually, which was interesting. Uh, this time, the Google car was of the Sri Lankan variety. Now, this round kind of confused me because it was an extremely mountainous location. Uh, Sri Lanka has not too many locations that look like this, as far as I know. This kind of took me aback when I saw it at first, but... So to combine with the Google car and everything, I figured it kind of has to be Sri Lanka. Also, those characters on the rock were kind of confusing to me as well. Uh, I was just getting mixed signals from this round all around. I kept on looking around the round <laughs> to try and figure out what the heck I was looking at. Uh, once again, reminiscent of that Indonesia location where I was just not too sure what all these clues were going to mean for us. Uh, but eventually, I did just go for Sri Lanka. I tried to click in the most mountainous area I could find, hoping that we'd be around there. Uh, and eventually, I did just go for it. And it was actually a little further north in the mountains of Sri Lanka. Moving on to round number 24, we once again had Ghana tape, which is very distinct meta. And round 25... Uh, we had houses and buildings and architecture, everything just sort of looked like Denmark. Uh, a cool mural of waves there on the wall. Uh, but everything I was looking at definitely seemed pretty Danish. Just wanted to see if I could confirm it for sure. And sure enough, I found a Danish flag outside of that one building. And that confirmed that we were in Denmark. So we have 25 countries completed so far. We've got a few more to go for this attempt at least. Uh, starting at round 26... Uh, everything seemed pretty American here, I think, based on the signage. Canada always concerns me a little bit with this kind of round when it's not 100% clear, uh, but I figured it was going to be pretty far uh, south in the U.S. Or not really, actually. It was Minnesota. Never mind. <laughs> uh, round number 27 here, we had Cyrillic plus long antenna car that's not red. Uh, means we're going to be in Russia. And that is where I guessed. Round number 28, we had a black car, plus some Spanish here on that sign for a bridge. Uh, this was a little bit of a confusing round for me. I was thinking, well, Peru is really the probable option here uh, with the black car and this sort of tropical mountainous landscape. Uh, but again, I just wanted to be sure because we were making pretty good progress with the streak. Uh, I did end up clicking on Peru, but I wanted to keep looking around at all the information we had. Uh, interesting license plate on the pickup there. Uh, I was trying to see if I could work out <laughs> which Spanish-speaking country it would be based on uh, the sign there, but I figured it was just going to have to be tropical, mountainous Peru somewhere. So in the end, I did go for it. And it was. Round number 29. This time we had language and a domain for Italy, so that was a pretty easy one for us. And moving into round number 30. This time we were thrown into a Gen 2 location, uh, with bollards that seemed to indicate Luxembourg, so I was pretty confident going for it. And it was indeed Luxembourg. That is 30 countries done. So moving into the seventh game here, we're on a streak of 30. Uh, this time we were thrown into a very Australian landscape, uh, with the sort of shrubs and the road signs as well, and that's 31. And moving into round number 32, this time we were thrown into a landscape that seemed... Uh, to be quite American. It seemed pretty south coastal, or at least coastal uh, to some extent. Uh, I was trying to make sure this wasn't going to be Canada. I was pretty sure it was the U.S. We also had a flag there, so um, I, I don't even know if I saw that, actually. But the speed limit sign did it for me in the end. I kind of clicked out by Rhode Island. It was a little further south on the Outer Banks. And moving into round 33. This round is going to haunt me forever. I'm very disappointed that I got this one wrong. Um, it was definitely either the U.S. or Canada. Now, the landscape and the dirt road and everything made me want to go for Canada. However, that arrow sign that you can see there um, is not very Canadian. Canada uses a slightly different one at their T-junctions, mostly. So, 
Um, I did not consider that. I, I overlooked it for the most part. It was concerning me, but I did go for Canada in the end, and it was not there. It was uh, Pennsylvania, I think, there, right on the shores of Lake Erie. So an unfortunate way to end the streak there, but at least we got a streak of 32. Uh, so that does it for this attempt of country streak. Uh, I think I'm getting better at my country identifying abilities. Hopefully someday soon I can get a streak of 50. That is the goal. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.